Hello, welcome back to another video. We're back with a Too Good To Go bag, Subway. Never had a Subway Too Good To Go bag. Today, we have picked one up. The slot was 8.38 till 9 a.m. Two pound for the bag and the star rating was 4.6. So I was expecting a really good bag. I think I have tried to get a Subway before and I think we canceled. We've got so many picnics coming up this week and we are having one today. I thought perfect opportunity actually. We'll go and try it two quid. Let's see what happens. Do we get stuck in traffic on the M1 going to get a two pound uh, too good to go bag or not? The road was clear. Apparently it was Darren that went for it, not me. Now he knows what's in this bag and he's, uh, he told me it were a good bag. So let's see if Darren's definition of a good bag is the same as ours. Have a look what we've got. So it says uh, Subway bag, two pound, bread and cookies so straight off the bat you know exactly what you're getting which i quite like so you're not turning up expecting to get filled sandwiches or things like that so look at that we have one two three four five six cookies i think it looks like yeah you've got two white chocolate two of the is it like a smarty one that they do and oh a chocolate chip one and then whatever that one is i don't know because i don't buy cookies from subway and now the rest ooh, we have is that hearty italian that if you know subway you're gonna know so they're all foot long rolls so we have one of those tell me what it is like a whole grain, whole grain, so. and another whole grain. Now that's not, that's like, is that a cheese and herb? Have you seen them with the sub rolls in um, Aldo? They do the cheese and herb ones. We had them yesterday for lunch, they're nice. But these are mammoth, aren't they? This is, this is a good bag. And another cheese and herb, so five subs all together and then six cookies for two quid. A bargain so that was short and sweet and this video is kind of a two-part video so we've got a food waste bag and i thought well if you're switching on to watch a too good to go food waste bag then you may be interested <laughs> in what i picked up from the local food waste place it is a food waste initiative in our local village and it is mainly uh, stocked up by the co-op um, it's hosted in a cafe and uh, he does it for free because he dislikes food waste. Um, he, he pays for the electricity himself. There's a donation box attached to where the fridges are where you can put some money in purely towards the electric. But everything is free to anybody who actually wants to go and get it. So let's go into the kitchen and I'll show you what we got in the food waste bag this week. So just a quick overview, really, of what we uh, managed to get today. And the fridges were very, very well stocked. There were loads of these. So we got two packs of mangoes that need, they need eaten up. So I'll probably take a couple of those on the picnic today. Some beautiful looking baby plum tomatoes. Some mushrooms. This is the bread that Darren likes. So if he goes, he always picks one of those up for the freezer. Some bananas that will quite possibly get frozen. A bag of potatoes. Some apricots. Some leeks. And a cucumber. And as I said, if that were all free, it was just going to go into landfill if um, this guy had not taken it upon himself to host this uh, food waste fridge. My hair is just dry and wild and free. I tried this, um, it is a gel that my daughter uses for her hair. She's also got curly hair, but I knew, do you know when you know something's gonna go crispy in your hair and it's gone crispy, probably because it's a gel, but she just said that it stops after a while. So I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, I think we did really well for a Tuesday for food waste and you know, it's, fr it's fruit and salad season, isn't it? We're in June, it's fruit and salad season. So it's one of the best times, I think, to go and get some uh, Too Good To Go bags or go to Food Waste Initiative, whatever there is, because it's always fruit and veg that has been discarded. 
loads you can do with fruit and veg i know sometimes for some people it's not the most attractive thing go and check them out if you haven't already um waitrose is a very very good too good to go if you've got one close to you and morrison's morrison's is always a little bit up and down but they do put um fruit and vegetables and salad stuff in it so i think that i will start returning to morrison's probably just maybe once a week once a fortnight I don't do these bags that much at the minute because I'm that busy. I just can't can't stick to the times that they want. However, Subway, you know, first thing in the morning, we weren't doing much. And as I say, we were having a picnic. So it was just this ideal opportunity, just in case they gave me a shit ton of bread. I knew that I would be able to use it. And obviously I could have froze it anyway, but this is all gonna get eaten by uh, friends, children, and um, it's gonna be a really good day. One of the two good to go bags that I'm wanting to uh, try is a Burger King bag. I think it's a fiver. And again, it's from the same services as Waitrose, as uh, Starbucks, the Subway. It just seems to be a fantastic services for two good to go, the one that we've got on the M1. Um, but it's 9.30 till 10 p.m. And who wants to really try a Burger King at that time of night? My eldest son. He says that yes he will if it helps me out he will try the Burger King um, at 10 p.m so I'm fancying going to see I think I've only ever seen one video and their bag um, I think it was is it Ian and Aaron their bag were really good if I can recall I'm sure it was them that did the video um, so I'm quite fancying um, going and trying that one shortly I don't know when I'll get to do it uh, but if there's anywhere else that you know of that does really interesting bags, let me know. Even if it is not in my area. As we all know, I travel quite frequently. So I might not be able to get it this month, but a couple of months down the line, I might be in that area and you've helped me out. So if you see any that looks really good and interesting, please let me know because I will try to find it. And then we'll put it on as favourites. And who knows what the future will bring. But for now, my future is sandwich making and taking the kids on a bike ride. So have a good weekend. Take care and I will see you again next time. Bye.